Hello, my lovely Minjis. This is Minji from Minji Teaches Korean. What is today's situation? Let's say you attended a meeting a week ago. It could be a casual meetup, a party, or a social gathering. Anyway, one of your friends asked you how it was, so you want to describe its atmosphere and how you felt. In this situation, maybe you say it was completely uncomfortable because I don't know, maybe your friends argued each other or you ran into your ex. Oh gosh. <laughs> On the contrary, you would say it was so fun that I lost track of time, right? Then how do you say these expressions in Korean? Coca-Cola 맛있어. I'd like to introduce this word that can be used in the formal situation, which is 가시방석. 가시방석. 가시 means thorn, and 방석 means a sitting cushion. So it literally means a cushion of thorns. So imagine sitting on a thorn-covered cushion. That must be very, very uncomfortable. I don't want to even imagine me sitting on that cushion. My butt is going to be in shreds. Anyway, in Korean language, 가시방석 is used to describe a very tense, uncomfortable situation or feeling, especially when you are mad or faced with an uneasy situation like when someone grills you or when you are anxious about what might happen and it can be used with the verb 안다 like 가시방석에 안다 가시방석에 안다 I think it is similar to the English idiom beyond pins and needles Let's take a look 분위기가 왜 이래? 완전 가시방석이네? What's going on here? It's so uncomfortable 분위기가 왜 이래? 완전 가시방석이네? 분위기가 왜 이래? 완전 가시방석이네? 친구들이 싸워서 지금 가시방석에 앉아있는 기분이에요. My friends are arguing each other, so it feels like I'm on pins and needles. 친구들이 싸워서 지금 가시방석에 앉아있는 기분이에요. 친구들이 싸워서 지금 가시방석에 앉아 있는 기분이에요. 코카콜라 맛있어. On the contrary, you wanna say that you really enjoyed your party or a meetup. In this situation, there are many other options, but I would like to introduce this expression. 시간 가는 줄 모르다. 시간 가는 줄 모르다. So, 시간 means time, and 가다 means to go, and 줄 here, it indicates a certain method or an actual fact, and 모르다 means to not know. So, it literally means to be not aware of a fact that the time goes by. So, in other words, you are not noticing how much time has flied. So, when you are engrossed or observed in doing something, time does fly fast, isn't it? So, you end up losing track of time. So, in this kind of situation, this expression can be used. 시간 가는 줄 몰랐어. Or even, 시간 gannen 줄도 몰랐어. To here is a particle for emphasizing. So, it literally means like, I have no idea how much time has flied. So, it means like, I completely lost track of time. So, rather than describing as 재밌었어요, it was fun, or 좋았어요, it was good, uh, why don't you choose this another option? Then, let's take a look at example sentences. 어제 시간 가는 줄도 모르고 민지랑 밤새 놀았어요. I completely lost track of time yesterday and hung out with Minji all night long. 어제 시간 가는 줄도 모르고 민지랑 밤새 놀았어요. <웃음> 어제 시간 가는 줄도 모르고 민지랑 밤새 놀았어요. 나 게임하느라 시간 가는 줄도 몰랐어. I lost track of time playing the game. 나 게임하느라 시간 가는 줄도 몰랐어. 나 게임하느라 시간 가는 줄도 몰랐어. 코카콜라 맛있어. Then let's practice using today's expressions with a dialogue. 민지야, 어제 생일 파티 다녀왔다며? 어땠어? 
말도 마. 거기서 내 친구랑 내 친구의 친구랑 싸움이 난 거야. 그야말로 가시 반석이었다니까? 정말 재밌었어. 시간 가는 줄도 모르고 친구들이랑 놀다가 집에 엄청 늦게 갔어. 코카콜라 맛있어. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. <laughs> and if you have any expressions that you want to know in Korean, please let me know in the comments. That would be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next time. 안녕!